With 24,712 cases reported in the last 24 hours, the total number of coronavirus infections in India currently stands at 1.01 crore. Of these, 2.83 lakh are currently active. A list of people who will be inoculated on priority in Tamil Nadu is ready and 21,000 personnel are being trained for the rollout of the immunization exercise after the vaccine is made available, a top health official said on Thursday. Speaking on the coronavirus vaccine, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal said that around 51 lakh people, including healthcare and frontline workers, will get vaccinated in the first phase. Five COVID-positive flyers from the UK went untraceable soon after landing in Delhi airport. Three of them were traced and admitted to a hospital in the capital, while one managed to reach Ludhiana and the other Andhra Pradesh before they were brought back on Wednesday. The Kerala government has moved the Supreme Court challenging the state high court's verdict which had directed it to increase the number of pilgrims to the historic Sabrimala temple to 5,000 per day. More than 78.7 million people have been infected by COVID-19 worldwide while the death toll currently stands at well over 1.7 million. China will suspend direct flights to and from the United Kingdom indefinitely over fears of a new strain of the novel coronavirus. South Korea has signed deals with Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson to import coronavirus vaccines to cover up to 16 million people as it grapples with the third wave of the pandemic. About 500 relatives of people who died of COVID-19 in Italy said on Wednesday that they had begun legal action against regional and national authorities seeking 100 million euros in damages. Moderna said it expects that the immunity induced by its COVID-19 vaccine would be protective against the coronavirus variants being reported in the UK.